Tonight, another local connection to the Capitol riots back in January. Two months ago, the nation was stunned as these images played out at the Capitol. Now tonight, a local man is facing charges of assaulting a police officer during those attacks. FBI agents arrested the man at his Lorraine home this morning. Lena Lai has more on the suspect and the case against him. Never would have thought that somebody that close to where I'm at was involved in something that reckless. Neighbors reacting to the FBI's arrest of 20-year-old Cliff Mackerel at his Lorraine home. Mom is great, daughter and the youngest son do. They don't bother nobody. In charging documents, the FBI lays out his case against Mackerel for his role in the U.S. Capitol riot on January 6th. Screen grabs from video of the crowd clashing with U.S. Capitol Police at a line of barricades. Prosecutors say this is Mackerel wearing a protective mask, pushing and shoving against the police line. At one point, striking a Capitol Police officer several times. And when someone in the crowd sprayed bear spray at the officers, Mackerel is accused of grabbing the officer's gas mask to expose the officer to the spray. Investigators got their break when the suspect finally shows his face. It was this clear shot that was shared with the public. One month later, an FBI tipster recognized the suspect as a graduate of Wellington High School's class of 2018. Mackerel posted on Facebook January 6th, writing in part, it is our literal job as Americans to kill the tyrannical government. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes, I guess. Now the government's case against Mackerel could send him to prison for 14 years. Now, Mackerel is the second person in our area to be arrested from the U.S. Capitol riots. In January, Cleveland schools therapist Christine Priola was arrested at her Willoughby home after she was identified by the FBI as one of the people who stormed the Senate chambers. She resigned from her job and is out on bond awaiting trial. Meanwhile, Mackerel tonight is also out on bond. That's yeah, it. Lena, more than 300 people have been charged within mm -hmm. that Capitol riot by prosecutors, and they have noted that is so far. More to come on this, certainly. Thank yeah, you, Lena. and potentially more to come, absolutely.